Okay, I put on fake eyelashes because I'm going to get a aura photo taken. Do you like my car seat covers? I'm just doing it for fun and because I'm trying to create healthy neural pathways in my brain to fight, to against, fight against depression. Against Pretty much putting on makeup for like the first time in a really long time to try to like feel better about myself. This is crooked. This, is this gonna remain? Fixed it. Sorry. I don't know. When you're fucking depressed, go ahead. After you, Jeep Wrangler seniority. When you're like depressed, this thing happens where you ruminate a lot. I'm trying not to make this vlog sad, but I'm just explaining my origin story, how I got here. Sometimes that shit is so debilitating that you just stay down. So when I started uploading like shorts, and then I don't know. Shorts pop off for some reason, so I'm like, wow. Um, I got to 113 subscribers, which I know, like, there's no plaques for that kind of thing, but, like, neuroplasticity-wise, that was a plaque in my mind. But anyways, yeah, I'm just driving over to the Arts District area of LA to get my aura photographed, and I've done it before. Both of the photos have turned out different. I'll like put a picture of them. I drew on them. It made me feel better about it. I don't, I have a weird thing about looking at images of myself, much like a lot of us today, where you're just like, the person that's on the inside operating the meat suit puppet is very different than how the meat suit puppet looks. Does that make sense? The first time I had this done, cause I've, can you just hear me driving along the median? Should I put the business's name? Capitalism has me so fucked up. Anyways, yeah, what am I trying to say? The first time I had this done, it was so fun. It was just for fun. I didn't take anything that they said seriously. And I was kind of just like, yeah, colors, like mine's orange and it has some like yellow and that means these things. And then the second time I got it done, I think it was only a year apart, but I was going through like, a situationship at the time that made me like really emotionally heightened. I happened to go during that. I also happened to take my ID photo that week, which looks like this. Look, in the, look at my eyes in this photo. It's insane. Every, every girly, am I a girly? I don't know. I think I desperately want to be. Everyone goes through like switch situationships, right? Like it's not just me, like, right? Please say psych. But the time I had that photo done, I think I was starting to experience like, the darkness that comes with your 20s that everyone's just like, party through it. Upon cleaning my room, I found one of those cards that they give you after your reading that breaks down what each color means and I was reading it and kind of like revisiting where I was at that time and then I got really into it and found like old journals that I had and I was like hot damn and then I got into the science of it all looking up uh, energy and like quantum entanglement the colors are influenced by like the energy that's being transmitted in your body in theory you know I feel like that's just a really nice convenient sentence for people to be like, I'll never question it again or how it works. But I just wanted to see what was going on with my energy and I decided to Google this place because I was like, I haven't gotten my portrait taken in a while. I'm just pretty much gonna hold myself present in this experience and try to like have fun with it. Unless, Unless it tells me something, something that makes me cry. And if this man reveals reveals something to me using his fancy little camera that clicks with my brain <laughs> I might fucking cry but yeah I'll let you guys know how it goes also let me know if you like me vlogging or if you just strictly want me to be like the YouTube shorts lady because that's where all of my like internet traffic came from was literally from like me ranting on YouTube shorts which your attention span is like modern day currency to some companies and people, so I don't think that way, but I'm aware of it. And I'm honored that I, that I took up time in your day and you decided to subscribe. So thank you. I'll see you guys after I do the, the aura. The aura?
this is how it turned out, which is kind of tripping me out because um, the green, the orange, and the red are still consistent with the other two photographs, and I took those in 2020 and 2021. Because the first two times I, I went to this place, it was, it went from orange, red, to yellow, green, and now there's still orange, red, yellow, and green. Going into it, I was like, okay, I'm not going to reveal too much to him about how I'm feeling in the beginning because I want him to give me an honest reading. So I like didn't really reveal about how much turbulence I've been going through. Everything that he said, like it resonated in a way where I was like, man, he's kind of reading me to filth. And I was trying to go into the experience just being like, this is for fun, but part of me, I didn't cry. So he pretty much said, some things that I'm going to keep to myself, I want to like remember them so I'm immediately vlogging to the camera right when I got back in my car. Now that I'm out of this like appointment, I think I'm going to just take off my lashes because these are just a little bit insane. It's like, is this even the arts district anymore? I feel like it's too luxury to be the arts district. Like, all of the blank lots are now like big apartment buildings. I don't know. It feels weird to call it that, but, um, so when I got there, I waited outside until it was literally my appointment time. So right at three o'clock on the dot, he came and got me. And then I just walked into the studio. You put your stuff down and then you sit in front of this like special camera hooked up to this hand plate. And so you place your hands on the plate like this. So like your palms and everything, like I could feel my, my like heartbeat in my palm. Mainly because I have a lot of anxiety lately and I'm just going through something, but that's another story. Put your hands on that. He puts a black cloth over it so uh, it doesn't end up in the photo. And I kept messing up the cloth, like, because I kept moving my hands. My arms are, like, mad long. I was pretty relaxed and I decided to smile because the last two photos I looked, like, really scared and, like, somber. So I'm glad that I smiled, but you literally hold your smile for, like, what feels like a full minute. It's probably only like 25 seconds. So the photo developed for like a couple couple minutes. I just sat there on the couch thinking like he's not going to tell me anything that uh is going to resonate. It's going to be generalizations. This is all for fun. This is all for fun, right, Sierra? This is for fun. And then he like right off the bat was like So we see the blue side coming in. He specifically said a need for truth. And I'm in my like um, Terrence McKenna era. I'm still like trying to find out who I am. Hey. I sit down. We talk about gentrification. What the fuck is that? And then he said green. There's green like right at the bottom. And then right at the top. And he said that was like a need for healing. He also told me that like the creative things that I'm trying to make, he was like, don't rush them. Um, they're going to come and develop at a time when they're most needed. And that really hit for me. I don't want to like fully explain why, because I feel like I need to keep that to myself. Um, but yeah, overall... I feel like I want to get this done every two years, like maybe keep it a tradition or something. He said some of the photos that they do, he's like people come in and they, they just don't change for such a long time. But I've gone through like such a big change recently that like the blue is starting to show up. If we're like buying into this, right? It was a nice experience. They put like a date on it. So like, you know, the last time you came, it used to be in a box, but I think the recession's hitting, so now it's an envelope. Being in the arts district in LA honestly gives me the heebie-jeebies. It's just like so different from when I was here in 2019 working on a short film. Like, there's like fancy apartments. I feel like if you're rich, you get to live here and be an artist, but not if you're like a struggling artist, you know what I mean? Anyways, it was a cool experience. It was nice, it gave me a lot of like reassurance just to like thought formations 
and things that have been like pounding in my head and chest. So vlogging has been helping me like be less anxious. So that's cool. But now I got to get gas and go see my friend China. So I'll talk to you guys later. Thanks for coming with me. We're giving robots Paris. What the fuck? Oh my God. Is anyone else seeing this?